Hello, I want to uh, show you how to do uh, question 11 in your lab, how to do, uh, how to measure the retreat of the glacier. Uh, and once you know how to do that, that should help you uh, with the other questions where you continue to do measurements. Okay, so the first thing you want to do once you open up your KML file, and this is the first uh, uh, screen that comes up. Uh, notice there is a slider. Uh, up here is a historical slider where you could slide all the way up to 1985 if you wanted. For this lab, we're just looking at the period between 2006 and 2016. Okay, so when you first open up, you, we're looking at August 2016. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is go back to 2006. So you take the slider, you take the big part of the slider. So you're taking the whole thing. It has two little parts. And I'm going back in time, and uh, I'm going to stop at the second half of 2006 right here. Okay, then I open my ruler or measuring tool. Okay, so I'm going to use path rather than line because line just gives, gives you one straight line, but because the glacier turns, we want to use path because we're going to be measuring in segments. Okay, and then so I have that. Now I'm going to change my units. You can either use kilometers or miles. I'll show you miles this time, but either one is fine. Okay, so now I have the path tool. It's in miles. And I'm going to measure from the terminus. The terminus is where the ice ends. And it ends uh, right here because the ice is this light blue cyan color and underneath it here south of it we see the bay that's just dark water remember that's one of the feedback positive feedback uh, cycles when light color ice turns into dark water as it melts but anyway so i'm going to place a dot here at the terminus and i just click on it and there's a dot and now I can travel forward in time. So I take the slider again, and I'm going to move all the way to late 2012. Okay, so there we go. Okay, now we can see that the ice has retreated. Right, so now the terminus is way up here. This is where I began. So I make the measurement actually in three segments so that I can you know, simulate a uh, turn okay so let me just put one here okay another dot here okay and then i'll just finish at the terminus here it's a little bit that way probably there okay so what do i get uh, my final answer is 2.98 miles so almost three miles uh, that the ice retreated in those six years. Okay, so this is how you do it. I hope that's helpful. And you repeat the same process for you know the other questions. And at the very last question, you can just add your results uh, from your three previous measurements.